somebody <laughs> scooped us. The <laughs> press release is supposed to be <laughs> coming out in a few minutes. But the new morning show that's going to replace the Tom Joyner morning show. <gasps> Say hi to Ricky Smiley. Good morning. Hey. Hey. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Ricky. Thank you for the opportunity. Okay. Okay. I appreciate you. Thank you for dinner. Thank you for everything. <laughs> and your team? Yeah, uh, Gary with the T. Uh-huh. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Eva Marcel. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. To all of you, Eva. <laughs> <laughs> to all of me, right? <laughs> Eva, when's the baby due? The baby's due in two months, Tom. Okay. Okay. In two months. And the new show starts? January the 2nd. January the 2nd. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, man. No, thank you, Tom. Uh, it's been a long road, uh, 12 years. Uh, we, had, we got this opportunity at 97.9 to beat, and uh, we just took it and took a lot of advice that you gave and just ran with it, just try to um, do a good show, do a lot of stuff in the community. And uh, everybody worked really hard. Uh, Eva's new, but Gary been with me for 12 years. And uh, so we just can't get rid of them, huh? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm like a fungus. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't believe I just can't believe that we all sitting in the same room together I mean, on the microphone, you know, because we don't get to listen to your show because we own at the same time. And it's just so fun. I've been on the show before. Yeah. And uh, but uh, I, I just thank God, first of all, because uh, I told you last night at dinner. You had no idea when I was on the Buck Wild Morning Show in Birmingham uh, on WBHJ, I would they would get mad at me because I would always run over to the studio to listen to your show, and I, <laughs> I, I would call in sick to go see a Sky Show. A Every time you have a Sky Show, it's like why Ricky don't come to work? Because you know I just I just idolized you and uh and I just have so much respect respect for you and thank you for the opportunity and thank you for everything that you taught. Well, welcome Eva. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. To the Reach family? Yes, I'm very excited to be here. I've, you know, done stuff on the TV and film part side of the family. And so yeah. to be here on broadcasting and radio under uh, Ricky Smiley's tutelage uh-huh. is absolutely amazing. All right. So what's going to be the, uh, what's, what, what are you going to do when you take over? <laughs> <laughs> when I give you the keys. Well, well, the, thing, <laughs> the thing about it, uh, I'm just going to continue what you started. Uh, including Damon Williams Fridays. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Bro, you know I got you. Yeah, like uh, community, community service, number one, uh, supporting HBCUs. I got uh, three kids, uh, two at Al- well, three at Alabama State and one at Tennessee State. Not three at AS, AS, ASU. <laughs> you already know it. Come on. Yes, sir. <laughs> but uh, so so uh, continue to support HBCUs and, uh-huh. uh, and uh, just doing everything that you was doing in the community to talk about health care and uh, – presidential elections and our politics and getting people elected, but, you know, just getting the word out. Everything that we discussed last night, you know, no different. Yeah, we had uh, dinner last night, so I had to tell him that, all right, now, you got <laughs> you got to keep this party <laughs> with a purpose. Absolutely. <laughs> and look for a purpose all the time to party with. Absolutely. <laughs> we might not do a cruise, but uh, we'll be on the side of the water. We'll throw a party in a couple of tents up <laughs> on, the side of the, on the side of the bay. Can't you see Ricky and his speedboat just going alongside? The- <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Y'all still up there partying. We, we barely making it over there on a little small. <laughs> but uh but but yeah I'm I'm really grateful for the uh for the opportunity and uh I learned a lot from you. I, I learned how to do a, a live performance with a radio show. I got that, you know, got that from you because you know we do ours every year in Birmingham and uh just the way you managed and the way you handled everything, I learned so much over these past few years and uh and just been a big fan. Well, I so. congratulate you all. I am very happy for this uh, this transition for you and being able to take over, which is an incredible responsibility, Rick. And I know you know this, um, but it is also with this big engine comes a lot of responsibility. And it's great that you guys are taking over and taking this into the next level. Um, congratulations. I'm very, very happy for all of you. Thank you, sir. We we appreciate it. We we're gonna give it our best. You know, we just keep God first and uh, you know, uh 
you know, we just thank God for the wonderful opportunity. The Bible says, if you be faithful over just a few things, come on now, I'll make you ruler over many. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, and, and everything we get when we were only, I ain't going to get emotional. Oh, but you know what? You're bringing something that we don't have. You with a Bible verse. We don't get that much from. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tom was raised in the church. <laughs> oh, he was raised there. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. On the so we're gonna add ch- we're gonna add church to the party with a purpose. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you, you, you know, you know. Uh, uh, we're gonna definitely give God His because God gonna always find a way to get His. And and I tell you, when they put us on the radio in Dallas, we did everything that we could do to help people uh, with Craig Watkins and getting judges elected, and uh, went to city council meetings, and, and we were just on the on the ground for uh, uh, civil rights. Uh, voting rights, yeah. everything, right. and uh, supporting HBCUs and and everything. So we just kind of modeled ourselves, you know, after you. And uh, we just went on, went went with it. And uh, God is just faithful. Always. Okay, when you all come into the red velvet cake, there are gonna be some things missing. I just okay. want you all to know that uh, it's, it's a nice setup. Now you're gonna have to bring your own. Uh, <laughs> and Tom, you are cute. Why you got that big red piano? <laughs> And I'm from Alabama. Right. <laughs> Roll time. We wobble next. <laughs> got to be there at the top. You got three minutes. Uh, Eva. Yes, Eva. sir. We're excited. We're over here with the big man, Big Boss. Yes, sir. Say good morning to Tom Joyner, everyone. Good morning, y'all. Rick's Mile Morning Show. Hey, the, uh, what time is it? Time right now is nine minutes after the hour. All right. Uh, if you don't know by now, we just... Uh, we just came back from the Tom Joyner morning show, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, God is just so awesome. Uh, first of all, we thank him for allowing us to see another day. We thank God for opportunity. We thank uh, opportunities. We thank God for doors being open. We thank God for doors being closed in order to get us going through the door that has been opened. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, we always give him the uh, the utmost praise every morning on the show. That's why we do the uh, praise mix down every morning since we've been on the radio. And uh, I'm really, really excited. Uh, and I want everybody to be motivated and encouraged by this. And I want y'all to understand this and hear me, hear me clearly when I say this right here. Whatever opportunity I want, I, I try to take, I don't want to make this about me, but I want to make this a teachable moment for everybody because whatever opportunity that you have, give it your all because God says, if you be faithful over just a few things, I'll make you ruler over many. Mm-hmm. We took a job over on the radio in Dallas. Gary, it was just us, me, you, hair crack, rock tea. Yep. And we, 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 we didn't have much. We was in, damn near in a closet. And we sat there on that little small counter crack. You remember? Yep, yep. And uh, it's two blessings. It's two uh, blessings in this message right here. And we sat there. We did that radio show. We went to the old folks' home. We gave the old senior citizen fans. We helped get Craig Watkins elected. Elected the first African American district attorney of the state of Texas, member mm. of Kappa Alpha Psi, mm. who, who reopened the Kennedy files and and it, uh, got a lot of people out of jail that was wrongfully convicted. And I mean, we worked our butts off. We was in the streets. We did the work. We did. We did the work. It wasn't about no being on the radio, being popular. We did the work in the community from Oak Cliff to North Dallas to Flower Mound to uh, to uh, Fort Worth. Uh, uh, big radio events in the park, and we took care of that radio. That one little radio station. That one little radio station, and we won. We beat the competition that had been number one for 14 years, and then Alfred Alfred Liggins who's the owner of TV One and Radio One, got on a plane, went to Oklahoma City, talked to Mr. Perry, shout out to Mr. Perry. Mr. Perry said, you know what? I like Ricky Smiley. I'm going to put him on all my stations. So we went on the air in St. Louis, Augusta, Georgia, and Oklahoma City. And so Mr. Perry put us on all the stations. Big shout out to Derek Baker. Derek Baker gave us an opportunity to come on in Miami on 99 Jams. Once Derek Baker... Uh, uh, and, and Mr. Jerry Russian put us on at 99 Jams. It spread it. Then Hot 107.9 in Atlanta. Then later on, 95.7 Jams in Birmingham. Then later on, Z107.9 in Cleveland. And it, we start to spread. And then uh, Chicago came and uh, Chattanooga came. Memphis came. New Orleans came. And uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, uh, 
So we just thank wow. God for the opportunity. And uh, what's happening is we're going to be moving over to Urban AC. And uh, Tom Joyner, who's uh, been a pioneer in radio, is going to retire. And uh, so Gary with the T, Eva Marcel, the Brat, myself, Juicy Special K, we're going to slide over to Urban AC. And they're going to build a new morning show around hair crack. And so hair crack going to have the morning hustle. Hey. Hey. Whoa. Hey. Yep. The saga yeah. continues, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Hey, crack. Yes, hey, sir. We, I'm just wondering what it's going to be like. Because cause we work together every single morning for 12 years. Like, bro, what is that going to like? We, we, they separating us. Yeah. I know, but, you know, it's an extension of of, of a popular brand. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, you know how, like, the Cosby show was lit, but so was a right. different world. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I mean, look at it like that. It's an extension of something great, and we're going to continue that greatness on different platforms. That's right. right. You know Make what I mean? grow, yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's not... It's not like, you know, we're competing against each other, but we're right. continuing the greatness. The saga Absolutely. continues. Right. But I just I just want to say, man, uh, Crack, thank you, man. Thank for, you. For, uh, Rock T. Uh, Rock, Rock T is going to be joining us, too. Uh, Rock T, thank you for everything. Uh, you and here, Crack, man. Uh, we had some some crazy days. Some, yeah. And Gary, you know, some crazy stuff happened. Oh, yeah. Some stuff happened, man. Alfred Liggins had to get on a plane and come to Dallas <laughs> and calm all of us down. We almost been on the brink of losing our job. We, we, we've had some stuff. It's been some real moments. Hmm. Yeah, but, uh, but, but it's been more good days than yeah, bad yeah, days, yeah. and we're not complaining. All right, and, now. Uh, uh, we, the, we I've had God. some good days. <laughs> ah, <laughs> <laughs> I've had some weary days. And I've had some sleepless nights. Wow. When I, I look around, and I think things over. All of my good days outweigh my bad days. And I, I won't complain. Yeah! Won't he do it? Hey, Dad. Yeah, we thank we thank God for the opportunity. Thank you, Miss Kathy Hughes. Thank you, Alfred Liggins. Uh, we're gonna be on. We're gonna still be on until December. Yeah. But come January second, twenty twenty, we'll be in a new house, yeah. and Headcracker be in his new house. Uh, with his with his new team, uh, the Morning Hustle. Yeah, well, Headcracks Morning Hustle is gonna be like live, legit. Yeah. And, and everything is going to be crazy. We're going to go some places that we ain't been yet. And I just can't wait to see where y'all journey take y'all, man. It, yeah. it, it's been a beautiful, it's been a beautiful passage that we've taken. Like we've watched each other grow together. Mm-hmm. We watched everybody expand, know. you know, like, you know, we went from being like, you know, like, like you said, Rick, people inside of a box. And then right. we turned that box into a house. Yeah. And Absolutely. that house has multiple rooms that include TV, that include right. books, yeah. that include executive producing TV shows, yeah. that includes movies, that includes yeah. music. Yeah. And it's just going to keep growing. Yeah. You know what, Craig? It's funny. You say that God did just open up. I'm telling y'all. Okay. Everybody that's out there. Brad had just got out of jail. Show sure did. Ooh. Hit me up and say, Gary, stop. Oh. <laughs> stop, Gary. I, I hate you, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering why I was always scared of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I heard you got a mug shot too now, but Gary. All right oh, now. Oh, okay. But, but what happened is when she got out of jail, or whatever, she said, hey, man, listen, give me this opportunity. We did it. And now she's on Dish Nation. Now you're the executive producer of uh, Growing uh, Up Hip Hop Atlanta. Growing Up Hip Hop. Yeah. And you on that show. And you've been on Empire. Yeah. And you've been on uh, just just yeah. on Stars. Yeah. And all of the these rap TV game. shows. Yeah. The rap game. Ricky Smiley for real. You know what I'm Rick, saying? All of it. Man, <laughs> I'm, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, if, you, if, if even if you don't use me for a testimony, use Brat. Hmm. Look at what she came from. She came from sitting in a cell. With nothing. With nothing. And now God got, God will. Yes, he God was. is. Mm, I'm mm, talking mm. about man. We we pray. We worship, worship a man that turn night to day and day to night and make the sun come up every morning. Yeah, and we give yeah. him. We give him all the praise. That's all why I can it. walk up. I can walk with my chest stuck out and my head up high because <laughs> I know I serve a living God and I've seen what He 
can do Ooh. through eight deaths since December. He kept me mm. and, and given me this opportunity. And God gave us this opportunity because we took care of his business because mm. he going to find a way to get his. Yep. We took care of God's business when we was on these airways and we brought a lot of people close to God and gave people encouragement and motivation and confidence, help people raise their kids. A lot of people was like, didn't know how to be a father, but listening to me here, crack rock teeth say, Hey, I know how to be a father now. And so we are thankful and grateful for the opportunity and, and just want to just take this thing to a whole nother level, man. Eyes have not seen. Mm. Ears have not heard. Mm, yes. Everything that your young pastor is teaching you, man, you better believe it. But you got to be faithful over a few things. Take care of what you have. Clean house. Get rid of bad energy. Get rid of negative people out of your life. Because if he bless you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to enjoy it anyway with bad energy and negative people around you. God don't bless mess. And he ain't going to bless you with new furniture if your house ain't clean. Mm-hmm. So let's get on fire for God. We thank him for this opportunity. Thank Tom Jordan for the opportunity. David Cantor. Yes. Thank you for being what the greatest CEO Alpha ever put to run this whole radio game. I really appreciate working under him. Yeah. And we just thank God for everything. Thing. And thank all the listeners that put up with us, everyone that put up with Brad, can't uh, read the news, and Gary can't do the tea right. Don't worry, I make little news feel good for you. I said, don't worry about news, I make feel really good for you. Ricky Smiley Morning Show.